The league scorer, Jake Matt, with 17 goals. He will be on display here in this title contending match here. What's up guys, SAG here, and welcome to another episode of the Smithies FC Career Mode, and we have a big one here. We have Loon Town again, but this time it's in the league. Right now, currently, we are five points behind Loon Town and tied with Hall City for second right now and was become a three horse race really for the top two spots and most importantly the title smithies fc looked to make a statement after playing loon town before in the fa cup they drew the first game and they lost the second one in extra time which was really an unfortunate result but now this is a top of the table clash featuring two great teams looking into the loon town starting lineup here more of the same, really. They got Elijah Adebayo this time in the starting lineup. Lua Lua goes to the bench. Hilton's going to be on the bench here for this one. But other than that, not too many changes. They're running their 4-3-3 here, which is what they usually run here for their formation. As you see the two teams shaking hands. This is a big one. Again, we're starting to, we're used to them, really. We really are. I think this is the last time we do play them this year. Maybe we have another feature fixture after. This is a big one on a boxing day here. Again, we're running our big guns. This is it, man. Boxing day between two top clubs in the EFL League One. Everyone's on their holidays, and they're looking forward to this one as we're running our 4-2-3-1 in this one. As you see, the Smithies FC team gathering here. They are ready for this one. We got a huge match away. Can we make a statement in Loon Town? Well, we'll find out here. It's Loon Town. And it's Smithies FC as Elijah Adebayo is getting ready to kick this one off. I'm excited. You're excited. We're all excited in this midseason match here. We're on the way here in Loon Town here between Smithies FC and Loon Town. Starting off in the 12th minute and Ponzu's with it. Looking around here. Naismith with it. Playing it back to Ponzu. Here's Rhea. Rhea and Tiberi and Elijah Adebayo. It's 1-0 just like that. 14 minutes in, and Elijah Adebayo is back on the scoreboard. A lapse defensively, and we are just not starting right. Again, nice play here, and he just finds just a barely enough space, and he did, makes no mistake about Look at this one-time fish just before Nigel can get to that ball, giving Jordan no shot at saving that. Elijah Adebayo has Loon Town in the lead it's a big goal for him really and what is his 10th goal in the campaign he has really been having a good season for loon town i'm surprised he was even on the bench for that fa cup game as we kick it back off here smithy's fc in the hole one nil tolkien looking for ball to simo as he finds bashar here just trying to settle in this game here josh back to bashar here's story story finding ball to simo Ball to Simo looking. He's going to find Durate. Durate, is he going to cut in? Yep, he's going to look and he finds Ball to Simo again. Ball to Simo is Bashar. Here goes Bashar. Is he going to find someone? He's going to play it through? No, he's going to turn this time and find Jacob Story. It's 1 1. Smithy's FC is the equalizer and Jacob Story pushes his team on as Bashar finds Story and it's 1 1. Nice tap there. Just barely getting his foot on the ball and he puts it right into that left corner there. Nice play there from Smithy's FC. Very resilient after conceding to bounce back right away and get one back. And Jacob Story with it. That is huge for Smithy's FC on the road. Their manager really happy about that. It's great that we not, we're not falling apart. We're playing really well offensively. It's his sixth goal in the campaign. Jacob Story really having a great year, a great rookie season. As we kick, as they kick it off again here. Here's Rio with it. Oh, nice play defensively. Here's Clark. Clark and Elijah Adebayo. Adebayo playing to Cornick. Cornick is coming through. Cornick with the strike. Oh, big save there by Jordan in the 41st minute. And that would really be it for the half. They got one early. We responded. Not too much in between the half and that second goal by us. But... Really, it's a tight game. It became a tight game after we responded and evened it up. We're hitting them shot for shot. 
And they had that late chance, though. That was a great save by Jordan. He would not too many keepers would have stopped that. Moving on here to the 60th minute, starting the second half. Tolkien's with it. He finds Jacob Story. Story looking, finding Bashar. Here's Andrew. Back to Jake. Jake looking. He's going to find Story. Story's going to push. Here comes Jacob Story. Oh, he just missed the net. Story with a huge chance to put Smithies FC ahead and gain his second goal. He just felt the pressure, didn't he? And he just tilted it just a bit wide. Unfortunate there as it remains 1-1. Here's Jordan with it playing to Nigel. Nigel finding Story. Story looking. And he's going to play it out wide. No, he's going to put it through to Jake uh, Jake Matt here. Jake Matt still with it. Can Jake Matt find someone? He's going to look. And he's going to uh, cut back. Jake Matt looking. Here's Story. Story and Durate. Durate. Nice play to Telmo Polino who would come in the game for Baldacimo. Tolkien. Back to Telmo Polino. Polino in the story. Story in the Jake Matt. Oh, big save there by the keeper. More of a reaction save there as Jake Matt got that off really fast. Big chance there for Smithy's FC. And a huge save. And we're going to make a quick sub. We're going to put in Paxton Aronson here for Jacob's story. And also, we brought in Fashionary in for Bashar. And we're going to put Nigel at that CDM spot. So Durate is ready to put in this corner here as he throws it in for Jake Matt. Nice clearance there. Here's Nigel. Nigel, nice ball control by Nigel finding Tolkien. Tolkien looking. He has someone to the outside, but he's going to cut back in. Now he goes back out to Talmo Polino into Jake Matt. Jake Matt with the nutmeg. It's Paxton Aronson. It's 2-1. Smithies FC have taken the lead. It's Paxton Aronson off the bench. A big sub there, putting Paxton Aronson in for story, and he makes no mistake of this one. Jake Matt with the nutmeg. Nice hold-up play by Tolkien. Polino in the mat. Matt with the nutmeg, and Paxton Aronson, no mistake whatsoever. That's a great finish with his right foot. He has been solid for us as the backup attacking midfielder. Just awesome for us. Just great. Uh, Smithies FC... Coming up clutch here, Paxton Aronson with a late goal. What possibly could be the winner if we can hold on here defensively. As we are up 2-1 now, it's huge in our chances of getting to the top. Moving on to the 89th minute, Osho with it. We're just trying to protect this lead. He looks and he finds Kornick. Kornick needs to push here as Loontown need an equalizer. Here's Lee. Lee back to Kornick. Kornick pushing. Still with it. Fakes. And cuts back in. Kornick still with it. Puts it in the box. Oh, that was a big chance there. Looks like Nigel got a piece of it. And the end of the day, got the Fashionary. And Fashionary calming it down. Jordan, back to Fashionary. Time's going to run out here. And looks like we're going to get the win. It's cleared. The full time whistle blows. And Smithies FC have trimmed the gap to two points from the top. A huge win here at Loon Town after getting out to the FA Cup. Losing a big game against Ipswich Town and just coming up clutch here against uh sorry against Loon Town. Big time performance from Jake Matt. He was really at his best self. Not scoring, but assisting. Story and Aronson with the goals are two cams. Out of bio got theirs. But at the end of the day, we win 2-1. And if you look there, yeah, I know it's hard to see there. It was quick. But Hall City actually drew with Wickham. That means we are ahead of Hall City by two points. And we're only two points by in Loon Town. And what was a crucial win for us. Just fantastic being the, the top team in the league. Again, it's it's a tight. It's a good. We're playing the best team in the league right now. So it's going to be close. Again. I mean... Like we took them by surprise. I'll just say that. The FA Cup must have been like, oh, man, they must be a walkthrough. And again, we, we're we going to enjoy it, but then we have to move on. It's just one win. We can't slip off after being the league leaders because now we're catching up to them. Zachary Roberts actually completes his development. Now he's going to be our backup right back, which I think is the best position for him, at least for now, with Josh Matt. I think we're going to – Stephenson and Tachenko, they're going to battle it out. 
for the backup left back position. Uh, Petrula actually makes the move here to right mid, of course, his natural wing, because he's right footed. So we do that. He has only has one star weak foot, so he's going to have to work on that. And I just want to work on that mainly. So I'm going to put inverted on him for now. But yeah, I need him to increase that weak foot. Uh, oh, I changed it? Oh yeah, I wanted to work on his passing. Forgot about that. Right after that, we have a game against Fleetwood Town. We kind of go with the somewhat rotated squad because they're a lower league side. I wanted to add this lamp a bit quickly. I wanted Jordan to start. I, I forgot to sub Carter out for Jordan. Albert Carter only plays in Papa John's Trophy games. So, we sim and we get the win. Taylor Bradshaw with the lone goal. It's a big win for us with the rotated squad. And Taylor Bradshaw just clutch from him. Right after that, uh, we have a youth player on sale, Nicholas Stephenson. We're going to call him up right away. He's a top tier player and he's going to be great for us. There's DDA TN. He's a 59 overall. Looks like he's got great potential. I'm excited to see what he can do as we move on here. We go into the January transfer window and there's a bunch of players leaving here. Let's just run through the list here of who's going to go on their loans because we're going to have a lot of people going on loan here. As uh, Martins actually has a loan offer, but let's go through this. Jake Armstrong, Adam Barton, Taylor Brooks, Lance Gray on loan, and Kevin Paredes departs to Charlton Town. Wish you luck there, buddy. We just take a quick uh, look over at the East Sky report. There's Siaka Kambu among some of the other guys. And Martins actually got an offer, but it was the talks fell out. So Papa John's Trophy match here against Charlton Ta Athletic in the third round. We end up losing 1-0. We got dominated that game. They're clearly the better team. They played the starters. We played our backups. And we're eliminated from the Papa John's Trophy, which is a trophy I didn't really bother about, to be honest. Right after this, Martins' loan was rejected. We have a game here against Shrewsbury. As I say, it was going to get rejected. And yeah, Baldus, you likely will get your chance as we are here for this one. And we go to quick sim this one with our starters. And we end up getting a big 2-1 win. Andrew and Diego Dorate are with the goals. It was much closer than I wanted it to be. We really did dominate the ball. But they got an early goal and it got harder for us from there because they played really defensive. But again, that's a big win for us. It ends up putting us tied for first again with Loon Town. And then here... Uh, again, progress assessment there. Doesn't matter. You scan, scan reports. Uh, Modest Canate is a no. That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. You kind of expect a setback after uh, TN and Asi come, both came up there. And Digbo is a no as well. Uh, Rusian Bodar. I mean, maybe. We're going to say no for now. Roman Mayho. No. Uh, that's a no. That's uh, guess what a no. Timofe Bandoros a no, Shevacek's a no, and Bondar. I guess we're gonna hold on him. No, I'm just gonna say no. Straight up a no. Uh, How Harvard, we have enough goalies. Alan Burris is a no. That's a no. A lot of no's in this one. We might not even find anyone. We're gonna find anyone here? No, I don't need a goalie. That's a no. And Morgan's. I guess we'll say yes to him. He's 15 years old, so we'll see what he turns out to be. We're 325k. Not too bad. Uh, looking here at Morgan's, he ends up being a 53 overall. Left winger slash center mid. That could mean his potential's not good, but for now we're going to keep him and just see what he turns out to be. Looking here, he's got no technicals. He's just got a lot of pace. So, first... I think we got to work on that passing. We don't need to work on the pace, but passing the dribbling needs to get up there. So we're going to make him a wide playmaker. Let's get his passing up there. And then he's got some good agility and balance. He just needs to work on his dribbling, his ball control, which kind of does ball control, I think, gets uh, edited there. Right after that, we have a game here against Lincoln City, which we're actually going to play with our rotation squad. So not many of you guys, user players, will be in the lineup, except for Jordan. So let's look into that lineup here as we are at Mitchell Park. We got Zachary Roberts, Fashionary, Trevor Morgan, who's huge, Andre Takachenko, we're going to get a first look at him, Moses Simon, Telmo Polino, Miguel Ramos, Taylor Bradshaw, Paxton Aronson, 
and Tanner Ward at the striker. Paxton Aarons has been in some great form. And then we're playing against a not-so-good Lincoln City team. I expect Aarons to have a really good game in this one. I think he can carry. I think everyone's going to have a good game. This is going to really show me what my team is like, what my backup team's like, because I know my stars could easily stomp over Lincoln City. Moving on here, here's Lincoln City's team. Tom Hopper's in it. El Baduzzi, um, uh Louis Monstaya. Sam Long at the keeper. They're running a 4-2-3-1. Not too many recognizable names, to be honest. Lincoln City just not playing well this year at all. They are second last, likely to be relegated if they don't get their act together. As we are here to get underway between Smithies FC and Lincoln City. Here in the EFL League 1, Tanner Ward is ready to get this party started. A rare day where Jake Matt isn't starting, really. As we are underway here at Mitchell Park. As it's played here to Zachary Roberts. Look how big look how big Zachary Roberts is. Like, look at Trevor Morgan. That guy's a giant. He'll be great at center back. Roberts, I don't even know if I can make him the fullback. He's so big. But I guess we'll keep him there. He's sued to be there. He's got some pace to him. Here's Hopper and Arhen. Arhen playing it long to El Baduzzi. Baduzzi can't keep it in. Roberts is going to throw it in here in the third minute. Here's Moses Nyman. Nyman. Back to Miguel Ramos. Ramos, is he going to play it back to Nyman? He will. Here's Paxton Aronson. Aronson playing it to Tanner Ward. Ward's going to find Taylor Bradshaw, but it got deflected, but Bradshaw still keeps it. Bradshaw finding Tanner Ward. Ward, Aronson. Aronson has Miguel Ramos. Miguel Ramos is three. It's Miguel Ramos. It's 1-0. Smithies FC take the lead thanks to Miguel Ramos on the right-hand side. The Brazilian Get Smithies FC in the lead early as they celebrate here. A huge goal for him and a huge goal for Smithies FC as we end up taking a lead. Look at this big time strike there. Just fantastic from him. That is really big time. As I thought the keeper would actually save that when that was shot, but we're off to a good start early. We need that with this rotation squad. I want to be confident. When I play with them against lower league sides. And they're really helping boost that confidence. It's Miguel Ramos' the second goal in the league. It's good to see him play well. He's kind of been my new guy at the right mid. And I want to keep him there because he's got some great potential. Moving on here to the 16th minute. Kinsella is finding Strand with it. Strand playing along to El Baduzzi. El Baduzzi is going to make a run at it. Here he goes. He's going to try to turn in. Is he going to find someone? He still has it. Finding Arhan. Arhan in the hopper. It's Hopper right at Jordan. Well, not right at him, but Jordan didn't have to do too much there. Moving on to the 30th minute. Tanner Ward's with it, but that's taken away. Elba Doozy has it. Here's Hopper. Hopper, Lincoln City pushing, but that's a nice play by Fashionary. Here's Paxton Aronson. Aronson, he's going to look. He's going to find Tanner Ward. Tanner Ward's making the run. Tanner Ward pushing past the defender. It's Tanner Ward. It's 2-0. A great finish by Tanner Ward. Jake Matt-esque really there. And Smithies FC have a 2-0 lead. The confidence in Tanner Ward there. That was fantastic from him. And uh, Lincoln City goalkeeper not happy there. I mean, just it's a nice through ball. I mean, he made no mistake about it, didn't he? That is just... That's not the easiest of angles, really. But he just puts it across his body. And the keeper can't get to that. It's just too good of a strike. And it's 2-0 for Smithies FC. A nice performance here by our rotation squad. Tanner Ward really showing something. The striker from the U.S. with his fourth goal in the League One. And he was one of the early, early recruits. He was part of my first scouting trip, which is made. I think he's one of the only ones that was. There aren't many of them there still here at Smithies FC. Moving on here in the 43rd minute, it's Arhan with it, playing it back to Strand. Strand looking long for El Baduzzi, he's making the run. And Zachary Roberts catching up for him, he's another one of those guys. As that's headed out, Paxton Air, sorry, a fashion area couldn't keep it out. Arhan still with it. Arhan cutting in, is he going to find someone? Oh, big save by Jordan, that was a good chance for Lincoln City. Jordan's going to play a, a wide, but that's headed back in, but Bradshaw gets to it. Tolkien. Back to Jordan. Can we get to the half? It's in. Oh, my goodness. That was close. That was close. I believe that hit off Hopper and just barely went out. And we're going to have the lead 2-0 on half. 
Tanner Ward with one of our goals. Again, it wasn't the easiest of halves, but you know what? We came through when it mattered the most. Miguel Ramos and Tanner Ward with the goals to give gave us a 2-0 lead over Lincoln City. Moving on here to the 56 minute, Miguel Ramos making a run here. He's going to look. Can he find Tanner Ward? No, he can't. He still has it. He's going to throw in the cross and a Bradshaw. Big save. Rebound, and it's, uh, it's with Lincoln City. A big chance there in the 58th minute for Taylor Bradshaw. Moving on to seven minutes later here, it's Trevor Morgan, who's humongous. It's still, it's amazing. I've never played with someone that big. Telmo Polino with it into Tanner Ward. Tanner Ward looking. He's going to play it all wide to Miguel Ramos. Miguel Ramos has Paxton Aronson. Here goes Aronson. It's 3-0. It's Paxton Aronson. And Smithies FC are going to win here. A comfortable win here in Mitchell Park. As Lincoln City are no competition for a rotation squad. Paxton Aronson puts us ahead. Again, as you can see, Ramos with it. Nice, easy through ball. And Aronson, that's just a great strike there. That's just confidence right there showing. I mean, that wasn't even the easiest of angles, but he just whipped it across. The keeper's late to it. Smithies FC take the lead here. As it's Paxton Aronson, and it's his fifth goal in the league campaign. As we make it 3-0. Uh, 85th minute here. Uh, Tachenko is with it, playing it through to Taylor Bradshaw. That was a nice job by Andre Tachenko, showing me something there. Taylor Bradshaw making the run. He has a ball in for Paxton Aronson. Oh, that's an amazing volley by Paxton Aronson. It's his second in the second half. It's 4-0 for Smithies FC. Dominance over Lincoln C. Nice run, nice cross here, but look at the way he extends himself there to put it right past the keeper. That is fantastic. From Paxton Aronson putting in this on target. It was so fast the keeper couldn't even get to it. And Paxton Aronson getting a huge goal there. And that makes it 4-0 for Smithies FC. And that's his sixth goal in the league. Late on here against Lincoln City. As we kick it back off again late. And that would be it. We get the 4 0 win. Tanner, uh, Miguel Ramos, Tanner Ward, and Paxton Aronson at the double. A nice, confident win. Defensively, we were solid. And it was an easy game for us. Again, it's a lower league side. But it was a nice, nice to see my rotation squad really show up. Not just in the sim, but playing it in person. Paxton Aronson, I mean, fantastic. He's showing he could play in the first team squad, really. But if it wasn't for Jacob's story, Paxton Aronson is special. And he's really proving me right in keeping him over Hugh Baldwin because Paxton Aarons is a more complete player. As a cam, he's got pace, some nice shooting, and some nice passing, and it showed there. As we head into our post-match press conference, not to mention, no, Hugh Baldwin is doing well on his loan, I gotta say. Uh, Paxton Aronson, I mean, he was amazing. I'm just, he, he was a star today in that rotation squad. He stood out among the others, really, in the way he played. Again, of course we're better than Lincoln City. I mean, they're, we're trying to get promoted, and they're trying to just barely get really trying to stay out of relegation. Again, comfortable victory. No, no. To me, it was a comfortable victory. I know I didn't say it there, but it was. Let's be real. I knew I was going to win ever since that first goal. We get a loan offer here for Igor Neves, which I will accept here. Uh, sorry, I just got delegated. Then Miguel Ramos gets an offer from uh, Redding. And I was thinking about it, but, I mean, he's my backup right mid. I got to keep him. So we're going to reject the offer. We're going to keep Miguel Ramos. He will be our backup right mid. I know it's a tough decision, but I think he's the guy. Next game, we go up against Bolton here. We're going to put to the sim. We're running our main squad, except Ismail Asi will get a start in the left mid. We end up getting a solid 2-0 win. Jacob Story and Diego Durate with the goals. They didn't even have a single shot. But uh, Loon Town and Hall City went up winning their game, so it didn't really matter. But we keep in pace with them. Uh, Stephenson, we're going to convert him to a left back. He's left footed. We need a left back, so him and Tachenko can battle it out at right back. Bogart is kind of can be my backup right back for now, but there is a need there. But Josh Matt's the main guy at that right back position, let's be real. 
So um, I'm also looking here at Brian Gutierrez and I have to make a move. I'm going to recall him for loan and I will add him to the transfer list. Or no, I think I release him just straight up. Oh no, I am to the transfer list. I know it's tough, but I'm sorry, Exeter City, but time's up with him. I think it's time for him to go. If you want him, just buy him. Uh, right after this, we have a game against Charlton Athletic. Here, this is a big game. Charlton Athletic are fifth right now. We have to be confident, and we're we're taking it game by game. We're, we're getting there. We're on our way there. I know we're going to be in this thing. I know we're good enough to be title contenders. And that's, I rest assured now, we, right now we're tied for first, but we need a big win here against Charleston Athletic as we are ready for this one here. Ready to get underway here at Charleston. As we get underway here, we, as you can see, Jake Matt there is in the screen there. He's been fantastic this season for Smithies FC. It's been really good as we look at the Charleston Athletics starting lineup. They got Ben Amos in that. Adam Matthews been pretty good. Darren Prattley's the captain. Ian Madison, Gunter Innes, uh, Shine Gilby, uh, Christian Caderes, and Nake has been really good. And Jay Asami running a 4-3-3 with a CDM in the formation. As here is Smithy's FC. Nigel shaking hands there. This is a big one for the boys here. They need to make a statement here that they are clearly better than Charleston Athletic. And look at their sign lineup. Not too many changes here. Fashionary is going to come into that center back position. And Paxton Aarons is going to get a start at the cam. He's been playing really well. I want to give him some game time because he is great. And I know he's been in some great form after that, especially after that game against Lincoln City. Running at the 4 2 3 1 there. There's Jordan talking to the players. We are ready to get underway here between Charlton Athletic and Smithies FC. I'm ready. You're ready. We're all ready. It's a big one here in the EFL League One. As the referee blows the whistle, we are ready to get underway here at Forest Park Stadium. As we get a, we start off in the 14th minute, Josh Matt with it, finding Bashar. Bashar looking for Pax and Aronson. As you can see there, it's our 100th match. As Smithy's FC manager, it's the 100th match in the club. And here's Pax and Aronson making a run. He's going to cut in. He shoots and he hits the post. Almost giving us the lead in this 100th game at Smithy's FC. Here's Diego Dorate in the ball to Simo. Ball to Simo on the Jake Matt. Jake, here's Aronson. Aronson plays it through to Jake. Jake with the strike. It's 1-0. Smithy's FC take the lead thanks to Jake Matt. And he was confident, even with the defender there. He nutmegs the defender. It's a poor job by that defender there. And he just puts it through across. Even with the defender there, he's confident that he can get that shot off. And it's just fantastic. It just an absolute belter. Right into the opposite corner. And that's going to make it 1-0 for Smithy's FC. Smithy's confident in his team here. 24 minutes in, it's 1-0. It's his 18th goal of the EFL League One. And now Charleston Athletic have some work to do to get back into this game as we have been all over them in this one. Moving on to the 34th man. Nice tackle there by Ball of Simo. Aronson is fouled, but we play on as he got to Andrew. Andrew into Jake. Jake with Ball to Simo, but Ball to Simo is Durante. Durante's making a run. It's Diego Durante. Oh, it's a big chance for Diego Durante. He misses the target there. It could have easily been 2-0 for Smithies FC. Some nice play offensively. He was just a bit too much to the inside there when he struck that. But we're really putting the pressure on here against Charlton Athletic away from home. We're really showing something that even I didn't expect for how dominant we are playing. We did show it against Luntown, but that wasn't a dominant game. As Bashar wins the header there for Paxton Aronson. Here's ball to Simo. Back to Aronson. Aronson. He's going to cut back in. Here's Diego Durate into Jake Matt. Jake Matt has Aronson. Paxton Aronson for two. It's 2-0. Two Smithies FC have doubled their lead thanks to Paxton Aronson, who has been on fire lately. Nice hold-up play by Jake Matt. And Paxton Aronson makes no mistake about it. Fantastic from Smithies FC. 
showing up when it matters the most. Look, nice through ball. Aronson with the finish. My goodness. In a, in a huge time. Just before the first half ends, we double our lead. And was a deserved goal. We are the dominant team. And nearly, we're around the 40th minute. And we just find our breakthrough. Just fantastic from Paxton Aronson as he puts his head in the 39th minute. 2-0. That's his seventh goal in the campaign. He has been great for us. As we get back underway. And that would really be it for the half. A solid half from Smithy's FC, really, all in all. Uh, Jake Matt and Paxton Aronson really doing a fantastic job in this game. Jake Matt's been a handful for defenders. He's been really good as he hit the post, I believe, and he um, got a big goal, and he made the keeper make a big save. Sorry, guys, I'm really tired as it's 2-0 here. Moving on to the 52nd minute here to start the second half. Ball to Simos with it into Diego Durate. We're trying to push to end this one, really, as Jake Matt has it. Nice back to Aronson, back to Jake Matt. Jake Matt has Aronson through. Oh, that's some great hold-up play. It's Paxson Aronson. It's 3-0. Wow, what link-up play between Jake Matt and Paxson Aronson. Just take a bow because they just cruised past that defense. They made that look easy. Look, 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, right through to Paxton Aronson, and Aronson finishes in near post with his left foot. That is just fantastic. It's his second goal of the game. It's his eighth goal of the campaign. And Paxton Aronson has really shown us something. Maybe he should get some more playing time. He's already getting a lot of playing time because he's a high overall, and he's, just been, he's really pacey for the story. But he's really showing out with his finishing right now. I mean, he's just fantastic right now. And it's 3-0 for Smithies FC. We'll likely get the win here as we move on to the 59th minute. We have a corner here. Andrew to throw it in for Jake Matt. And that just goes wide. And he was trying to make get his second there with Paxton Aronson. But it's just, he couldn't even head it nowhere near the goal because he's so short compared to the other players on the pitch. He's only 5'7", as Amos is there to take the goal kick. It's a nice header one. Nerkin Aronson gets to that. No. And As Esmail Asi, who came in the game, can't get to that either. Came in for Durate. We want to get him minutes. A lot of minutes, as Cedras has it. Here's Shine. We want to get him a lot of minutes because he has such good potential. You know, I know he's going to be great. Here's Gilby. Gilby. Nice play there defensively. Here's Baldassimo. That was by Josh Matt there. Fantastic. Andrew. Playing a chip through ball to Paxton Aronson. Paxton Aronson for the hat trick. Oh, it's 4-0. Paxton Aronson is showing out in this one. Yeah, I believe that's his ninth goal. What a ball from Andrew there. That was fantastic. And Paxton Aronson makes no mistake. He's on fire, and we are on fire. Look at that ball. Oh, that's nice. Aronson takes a beautiful touch, and you know where that ball is going. It's going in the back of the net. Off the post and in. Smithy's FC just dominating against Charlton Athletic here. An unreal display. And this is away. We are away from home against the fifth place team. And we're, we're just dominating. And that's fantastic. His ninth goal in the campaign. He has a hat trick in this one. And we are up 4 0. Now it's the Paxton Aronson party. Come on, guys, join in. As they play along here, nice job by Jake Matt again to that. Jake Matt finding ball to Simo into Aronson. Aronson looking, he's going to find Jake Matt. Here's Jake Matt. Playing it to Esmail Assey. Assey with it, playing it back to Tolkien. Tolkien, can he cut in here? Yes, he does, finding Esmail Assey. Assey with it. It's a throw! Big save there on Ismail. What well, would have been a nice goal, his first goal in the Smithies FC uniform, but that was unfortunately denied. Wow, that's a big stretch save, preventing it from being 5-0. Andrew here to take the corner. It just feels like Charleston Athletic are destroyed mentally as the ball's through, and Jake Matt really had no shot at it, didn't he? Moving on to the 73rd minute, uh, Cedrez is with it for Charleston Athletic as they're looking just to get some consolation. Anything out of this game. And Nake here to Segre. Segre looking, he's got Gilby back to Segre. Segre turns around into Gilby. Gilby, 
Nice play here to knock a. It's 4 1. Charleston Athletic getting a compensation goal here late as they get one from Anake. Nice hold up play by Gilby there, and he finds Anake and Anake 1 2 right in the back of the net. Makes no mistake about it. Jordan doesn't have much of a chance at saving that. And Smithies FC concede here. We will not have a clean sheet in this one. And uh, I guess Smithies was frustrated with that. He thought maybe we could pull off a clean sheet here. Well, it's not to be. Chuck Sanake with his second goal in the campaign. As we make a... Is that a double sub? We're bringing in Story. And I believe we're bringing in Tanner Ward. Yeah, we're bringing in Tanner Ward. Here, just giving some guys some play time. Moving on here in the 86th minute. Jacob Story's with it. Shout out to Paxton Aronson, though, with that hat trick. Here's Bashar. Bashar, looking. He's going to find ball to Simo. Here in the story. Story, back to Ward. Ward, looking. He's going to play it through to Story. It's Jacob Story. It's 5-1. Jacob Story just puts the cherry on top to a dominant performance here. He gets one on the board himself. Nice assist here by Tanner Ward, playing him through. And it's 5-1 for Smithies FC in the 88th minute. Just adding to that goal difference in the table. I mean, these all these goals will be big if we're close with Loon Town or Hall City for promotion or title. It's a big one for Jacob Story. It's 5-1 for Smithies FC. That's Jacob Story's eighth goal in the campaign in the 89th minute. As we move on here. And that would really be it for our goals. We had a dominant performance. 5-1 against Charleston Athletic. I mean, just fantastic. Paxton Aronson, take a bow. A hat trick in this one. He gets a well-deserved match ball. And he was just fantastic in this one. Smithies FC were fantastic in this one. As they get the win here in 5-1. Just dominance. In this game, as we move on, Time for a few quick questions. it was Aronson, I believe, Story, and Jake Matt. Uh, we brought up Dorante. Yeah, he has been struggling, but he'll get there. We know he'll get there. We're, we're like, I again, I do what's best for the team. I didn't mean to click that, but I mean, Paxton Aronson was amazing, and we, I mean, we're winning and we're playing really well. So, and again, uh, moving on here, uh, Fabian Lidicima gets an offer here. We're just going to delegate this to a loan, a short loan. I want, I want to see where he's at at the end of the season. Maybe he can become something special. And Gutierrez, sorry, man, I really am. We're going to send our scouts elsewhere. I completely forgot to do that, honestly. So looking here for Zachary Blake, I think, you know what? Let's send him to Uruguay. Let's, let's come up with some good talent. Let's go to Uruguay. Uh, for Calibas, we're going to send him to Mexico. We went to Canada, we went to the U.S., but we didn't go to Mexico. And for Mark, Ma, Marco de Bruin, I believe we sent him to Croatia on this one. Yeah, Croatia has some pretty good talent, so we'll see what he comes up with. So, right after that, we go ahead and sim forward. And Igor Neves is loaned out, so he'll go on loan. Leda Sima has agreed, uh, the team has agreed to a short-term loan move, that's great. And we're setting up our scouting networks. It's good to get all these guys out on loans. If you look at the table, we're two points out of Hall City for first. Loontown have a game on us, so if they win their game, they're tied with us in the table. Gutierrez has a transfer offer, we're going to accept that. A.D. Alakarin was the team that offered for him. And that's that. So Charlton Town will be our next opponent here. We're going to bring in a somewhat rotated squad, but mostly our starters. We go sim that, and we lose. We lose 1-0. Suricum gets their goal. And Loon Town drew their game. So against Lincoln City. How would they draw against Lincoln City? I don't know. That puts them two points behind us. Hall City is on one point behind us. Gutierrez sold. So, here we uh, changed positions officially with Stephenson. He's officially a left back now. We're going to make him an attacking wide back so we can improve his pace and his passing. Uh, looking here, 
uh, in this table. We are currently first with 68 points, 32 games played. Hall City are second with 67. Loontown are two behind us, but they have a game in hand. Ipswich Town have played one more than us, and we're five points behind us. Looking at the bottom here, we have Doncaster, Shrewsbury, Lincoln City, Northampton, and Exeter City actually are only tied for that last regulation spot. Looking into the next schedule, we play Exeter City, Plymouth Argyle, Doncaster, MK Dons, and Oxford United, Blackpool, Wickham, Wigan Athletic, and Hall City. And then we have the final uh, month of the season after that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all had a fun tuning in, and I hope you all have a great day. Let me know in the comments what you think of this series.